Welcome to Mohini Dance School's online classes. The goal of this warm-up video is to help warm up those muscles for class as well as help improve your Aramandalam and posture in Mohini Atam. So let's get started. We will start with some deep but simple side stretches. Try to rest your elbow on the floor as you lean over and stretch your side muscles. Now let's switch over to the other side. It is important to take your time with these stretches and not rush. Next, stretch your legs wide along the mat as wide as you can and lean forward to rest the elbows on the floor. Stretch and bend forward as far as you can to stretch those inner thigh muscles. Now reach for your right toe with both hands to get a nice side stretch. Now repeat the same on the left side. Now let's move into a variation of the same stretch, but this time your left hand is over your head trying to reach for the toe. Now move on to the left side. Now face both feet forward for a deep forward stretch. Take a deep breath in as you take your hands above your head and as you exhale, bend from your waist forward to reach your toes. Slowly drop your elbows to your knees to deepen the stretch. You should try and hold the stretch for about 30 seconds. Now let's move into an ankle stretch. Sit on your ankles and put your full weight on them. 
This is very important for dancers to do before starting a class or a performance. It helps to make sure that the ankles are stretched and flexible, thereby avoiding injuries. The next move is called a cactus move. Take your hands above your head and pull your elbows down, squeezing your shoulder blades. Now let's move into some cat cows. Go on all fours, making sure your palms are directly below your shoulders and your thumbs are parallel to each other. Now take a deep breath in and look up. As you breathe out, pull your tummy in and look towards your navel. Let's repeat. Deep breath in, look up. Breathe out, tummy in. Deep breath in, look up, breathe out, tummy in. Deep breath in, look up, breathe out, tummy in. Deep breath in, look up, and curl in. Now move your hands forward and bring yourself up into a downward dog. From downward dog, we will now move into exercises to warm up your quads and upper body. Bring your knees in so that your shins are parallel to the ground. Look forward and hold this pose to start warming up your quads. Hold the pose for about 15 seconds and return to downward dog. Now let's repeat this a few times. Bring your knees in, parallel to the ground as low as possible and look forward. Hold. Come back to downward dog. Again, bring your knees in, shins parallel to the ground, look forward, hold. Come back to downward dog. Now step forward and we will move into a series that has a variation of the sun salutations. Bring your arms above your head to a high namaskaram. And now bring it down and rest in a mountain pose. Let's begin. Circle your arms, take it high up, namaskaram. Bend forward from your waist, bring your hands to your toes. Now fold so that your knees touch your forehead. Bring your knees back and lift up halfway to look forward. Fold again. Circle your arms, take it back up to the top and then to the side. Now repeat this movement. Bend forward, touch your toes, fold, halfway up, make sure your back is straight and looking forward.
unfold again. Circle your arms to the top and rest in mountain pose. Let's repeat this flow one more time. Hands to the top, bend from the waist forward, touch your toes, fold knees to forehead. Halfway up, fold again, circle your arms to the top, reach up and finish. Next we will move into a slight variation to continue warming those quads. Bend forward, touch your toes. Come to your toes to bring your heels up. Wrap your knees with your hands and look forward. Hold. This is also good for your balance. Release. Halfway up, look forward. Fold, circle your arms, come to the top, reach up, bring your hands down to the side. Now let's repeat this one more time. Hands to the top, bend forward, on your toes, Grab your knees, look forward, fold forward, halfway up, look forward, fold circle your arms, reach for the sky, hands to the side and finish. From here we will move into some plank variations that will warm up your shoulders, upper back and lower back. Move into a plank position keeping your back straight. From here walk your hands back towards your feet and curl up slowly. Reach your hands backwards, giving your body a nice frontal stretch. Go down slowly again. Walk your hands forward. Come to a plank. From here, rest your knees Bring your upper body down halfway. Come back up to a plank. It's important to keep your body straight. Walk your hands back and curl up slowly. Reach your arms back. Stretch. Again, curl down. Walk forward. Move to a plank, rest your knees, halfway down, up, bring your knees up, walk your palms back, curl up slowly and reach back. Again, curl down. Walk your palms forward, come to a plank, lower your knees, halfway down, up, come back to plank, 
Walk your palms backward towards your feet. Curl up. Reach backwards. Stretch. Again, curl down. Walk forward. Plank. Rest your knees on the floor. Halfway down. Up. Plank. Walk backward. Towards your feet. Curl up. Slowly and stretch backwards. Start at the front of the mat. Take your hands above your head and move into a lunge position. Now lunge, taking your right knee to the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Step forward. Bend forward. Fold. Halfway up. Look forward. Fold again, circle your arms to the top, reach for the sky, fold down, fold again, halfway up, look forward, fold, knees to forehead, circle your arms, reach for the sky. Hands above the head and now left leg back to continue the lunges on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue these. For a count of 20. These lunges are exceptionally good to work your quads and glutes. Strong quads and glutes are important for a strong aramandalam. Good job. Fold forward, reach for your toes, fold, Halfway up, look forward, fold again, circle your arms, reach for the sky, and finish. Now let's move into some floor exercises on your stomach, which is so important for your lower back. Having a strong lower back is important to maintain a good posture for Indian classical dance. Bring your face down to the floor, flat, and from here, you will raise your feet and palms all together in an airplane pose. And you're going to hold each of these for about 10 to 15 seconds. Come back down, rest for a few seconds, Now go back up again. Use your strength to stretch your toes and keep your palms at shoulder height. Look up as much as you can. Go back down. Let's do this one more time. Up, hands and feet off the ground. Look up, 
Almost there. Hold it a little bit longer this time. And down. Nice job. Now bring your shoulders up to a low cobra. Looking forward. Next, keep your arms straight and curve your back to a high cobra. Try to lift your hips off the ground. Now lift your hips, tuck your toes in and come to a downward dog. Walk your hands back, curl up and stretch back. Circle your arms and reach for the sky and finish. For this next movement, keep your legs apart wide. Take your hands up above your head and from your waist, circle your whole body, first to the left, then to the right. Repeat this movement. This movement is especially good for Mohini Atom dancers to warm up their upper body and to increase the flexibility and control for the movements of Lassia. The next exercise will help you improve your adamantlam. Keep your feet in a wide stance, somewhat in a straight line, and start pulsing your hip, going deeper each time. This will help stretch and work your inner thigh muscles. Now that your muscles are warmed up, hold this position a bit longer. The goal is to keep your thighs as parallel to the ground as you can and hold steady. Keep your body straight, do not lean forward. Now move into the Mohini Atom stance where your feet are two fists apart. Hold this position without letting your hip drop. Look forward if you can and try to keep your back straight. Now continue into a deeper stretch by bringing your right hand towards your left foot and leaning over with your left hand over your head. Stretch as far as you can. 
Now repeat this to the left side. Your left hand is closer to your right foot and your right hand reaches over your head. Now rest on the floor and bring both feet together for a butterfly pose. Try to keep your knees as close to the ground as you can. Put slight pressure on your knees to bring them closer to the ground without hurting yourself. Now slowly reach your palms forward for a forward stretch, bringing your forehead to your toes. This is a deep stretch, so just do what you can. As I mentioned earlier, these deep stretches and warming up of the muscles is important before performing or even a regular class. This series is a light set of exercises that you can do every day at home. I hope you enjoyed this warm up. Circle your arms to the top, reach for the sky and finish with a Namaskaram. <music>